Hello and welcome. You join me on a very windy Friday night. I have beer and I'm playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag on the PS4. So this is... Oh you bastards. I hate these fucking pirate fucking shit battle things in this game. So good way to start the video with these kind of shit parts that suck. Um, so yeah basically it's very similar obviously to the other Assassin's Creed games except it is pirates. You have basically the same hookers, um, same controls, the combat is still a bit shitty, um, it's not the most responsive, very similar to Assassin's Creed 3 so they kind of fucked that up as the series has gone on um, but overall it's still still a pretty decent experience so here we're actually following a ship and if you see on my mini-map on the bottom left um, you will see we have ships with lines of sight and it's kind of like Metal Gear Solid down there except with pirates um, unfortunately the controls for me of the ship aren't great. Um, with regards to actually sailing from A to B they're not too bad um, but it's when it comes down to the combat. The combat just sucks on these pirate ships. Um, the reason I'm not returning fire here is because obviously I'm trying to follow this um, big ass ship here. Uh, basically I can't mess with this ship. I'm following it because I can't engage on it because it's so big. Um, but um, the the mission plan is to actually take it over at night or some, some fucking shit. So yeah, graphically, um, you know, it's PS4, but it, it's it's last generation stuff. You know, PS3, Xbox 360 stuff updated for the uh, the newer system. So nothing astounding, but again. On the, on the other hand, nothing too offensive on the eye either. And you shall hear my crew chatting bollocks and you can see them running around on the deck and all that stuff. Um, so controls wise for this ship, um, we turn with the analog sticks obviously. Um, we have kind of three different modes of speed. Um, and slow down, go a bit faster, and uh, that bit and the steering that works pretty well. Um, here we can actually rescue a, a stranded guy. He just literally teleports into the ship somehow. Um, yeah, the, the controls for actually sailing the ship work pretty well. Um, it's just I have difficulty with the whole combat. Um, so I'm not a fan of it at all, really. So he follows the ship, and then it has a little bit of a battle, it would appear. I'm guessing the point here. Um, oh shit, they've seen us as well, have they? Um, yeah, we've got to avoid these mortars. I'm guessing the point here is it's showing you why you're not actually engaging this ship because it's fucking insanely fucking armoured and it's got an insane armoury on board, should I say. That makes more sense. So you can see here when... Um, oh shit, get out of there. You can see when um, ships actually, you know, capsize or whatever, when you actually destroy them. Um, they drop cargo, you know, assuming that they're actually carrying cargo and crew members occasionally. Um, so you got, you know, a certain amount of crew members and you can actually board the ships. Um, so when you board a ship, you can lose crew members because they are kind of fighting for you. Um, just check what my objective here is. Oh, so I've got to fucking sink all these ships now, so yeah, now we're going to engage in some goddamn shitty fucking 
ship combat and it's all about looking around and using triggers and depending on where you kind of aim in it uses different weapons and it, it just doesn't work really in my opinion it just sucks I sunk that one so the loot pops out and we can loot that motherfucker. It's very, apart from these, you know, sort of shit battles, the game is, is very um, Assassin's Creed. It is nothing new really. Kind of disappointed in that aspect. They could have done, you know, the combat system now really needs improving on because they have fucked it up. Um, but obviously I am talking about a game that's over a year old now um, and there is Assassin's Creed Unity which allegedly is a broken game um, I think it's a good idea with games like Assassin's Creed to you know not really pay full price and just wait it out and uh, pick it up once it's been patched and it's a bit cheaper because I do enjoy these games, but they're not quite full price, you know, 40, 50 quid pickups for me. Definitely wouldn't bother pre ordering. Okay, this is the final one. So that was that actually, um, that task was achieved much easily, easier, easily, easier, easily, much more easily than I was expecting. Ah, oh, God. Natural stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse. Julian Ducasse, the Templar. Named right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. And if he sees my ship. I won't go into too much depth, but. The actual, um. Abstergo, I think that's what I'm called. Um, kind of story with the animus and everything. It doesn't really. So far, it doesn't pick up where any of the, the other Assassin's Creed games. Um, you know, ended, so it is kind of weird um, what the animus is really in this game at the start, I mean I assume it changes what it is or it would just be ludicrous, um, but I won't go into that because uh, obviously I don't want to spoil the whole story for you, and we have our ship here, and uh, oops. we can actually go down below deck And here we have the captain's room, do we? Change equipment. Um, and we can get the Ezio Auditore robes. Which are fucking... All this shit looks the same, but we'll have that, because uh, Ezio was probably the best Assassin's Creed character. Why don't they bring him back, for fuck's sake? And uh, is that it? So how we can do that here. I'm sure there's some other things we can do. We've got the return of the eagle eye, which highlights um, enemies in red and um, kind of targets in yellow, um, you know, kind of like an objective marker. So we can take the wheel and no, I won't bother saving that, saving that capsized sailor. Um, so we shall continue to the object marker, which is the big exclamation mark on the minimap. I'm not really sure 100% whether when you're travelling at this speed, whether it's any faster than, say, how I'm travelling now. Uh, what I do know is obviously it gives you a better better view and a more more kind of cinematic view and as you can hear your pirates like to sing uh, shanties as you cruise along and you can collect collect um, I think the mu music sheets I've only collected one um, and they kind of unlock new shanties when you collect so many So I mean if 
if um, this was an Assassin's Creed game where I was basically travelling from A to B on a ship, um, I suppose. Um, Assassin's Creed 3 did have ships, but were they just for sh fast travel? Um, well, I don't vaguely remember. I, I didn't, to be honest, I didn't like um, Assassin's Creed 3. I do think this game is better than Assassin's Creed 3 um, from what I've played so far, even with the, the whole um, ships and everything. There's just... There just seem to be something missing with Assassin's Creed 3 for me. I do prefer the more claustrophobic feel um, of your, you know, your cities like Venice in the Assassin's Creed games. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favour of storming this cove and taking this ship. Stop and shout I. I. What I do find silly about these Assassin's Creed games, especially this one, is this guy like he he is a pirate, yet he has all of the skill set of the assassin. Because um, basically, kind of like the story is, um, these aren't actually his clothes. He isn't an assassin, and he just like kills an assassin and. I won't go into it, but he um, takes his clothes and, you know, pretends to be an assassin. Um, yet he still just magically has the whole skill set of an assassin. Um, there's, you know, there's a few bits um, in this game that just feel like really lazy writing where they couldn't be bothered to, um, you know, fully explain things. Here we have a bit of a parkour, as they like to label it, section. The controls are still a bit, bit of a bastard. The problem I have with the controls is they could really do with like a sprint, a run, sprint, you know what I mean, sort of button that is separate from the free running. Um, so you can actually sprint without accidentally just randomly like jumping onto ledges and things it gets kind of annoying after a bit but if you played um, you know over Assassin's Creed games chances are you will have um, there's nothing too different there you should be used to that sort of shit when it comes to Assassin's Creed games uh, I played the first one, played the second one, played Brotherhood, Revelations, played three, so you know I've played. Uh, well, I've, I've completed them, so I'm pretty well seasoned in the whole uh, Assassin's Creed stakes. So here we are gonna sneak up. Well, not really sneak up, but uh, just run up behind him. He's not got a Scooby Doo. Stab that motherfucker. Obviously, we can still um, do all that looting and get the R's, whatever R's are, the rupees, I don't fucking know. Uh, so we've got two enemies over there, have we? Uh, this is uh, one way I have to break his defence, he's still got that shit. Um, this is where the game kind of actually probably annoys me more than the pirate ships. Um, just how much lag and delay there is. Um, I found myself just dying a lot more because of the, the kind of sluggishness of the combat system. Well, trying to find the jungle exit. Why did we find the jungle entrance if we're after the exit? That doesn't really make much sense. Maybe should have watched the cutscene, but uh, I was too busy talking. Of 
Come on, bitch. I'm going to fuck you up before you know what happened. Happened. Ha what's happening? Yeah. I know what I mean. It's been a long day. Yeah, slit that motherfucker's throat and stab him in the eyeballs and knee him in the face and shit. That's what I like. Run and run and run and run. Frame rate seems pretty stable in this game, which is a bonus. Um, and we just do that to duck through there, do we? Oh, treasure, treasure, treasure chest, treasure chest, treasure, tre treasure chest. Yeah, got it out eventually. Got a motherfucking speech impediment, shit. And there we go. We reached the exit. Now what? Find the entrance again. Oh. Ah, so I'm guessing. Oh shit, don't want to go down there, do we? I'm guessing we're going up again. Or oh, can we go down here? Can we drop down there without dying? We'll try. Oh, fuck off. We didn't even drop far enough to die. That's just lame. Yeah, that's the big ass Spanish ship that we were tailing earlier. Right, so we shall not drop down. Yeah. We're almost running along all these trees and things like there's a reason why we can't touch the floor. Have these fragments of fucking animus bollocks. Not sure what happens if you get all of them. Probably get a shit little achievement for your, all of your troubles. Have some enemies. Oh, you see me, so he's gonna come and investigate. Yay. War. Sleep there, frog. funny because like I think half of the pirates are Spanish and half of them are British um, but you've got like modern English accents like there's pirates with Geordie accents why are you man it's just uh, a bit silly in that sense just, just shank that motherfucker uh, be on our merry way. Yeah, we'll jump up here, shall we? Hey, bitch. Hey. Fucking, that guy takes like half of your fucking life off if he, if he hits you. Oops, run, 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 run. Gone. He's gone. Oh, no. Bastards. Oh, fuck off. See, this is what I mean when you're trying to sprint off to escape. You just start like random randomly um, you know jumping up fucking trees and shit that you can't actually climb up anyway suck super monkey dick oh god so you can't see me break his defense oh there's another one of them I don't get why like a Spanish kind of Captain, army captain guy would have a fucking axe. It's a bit of a weird weapon. Yeah, we'll just run off and hide in a bush. <laughs> Pardon me. Man's got a sneeze. Alright, so we've, uh, we. Hey, uh, still after me look. And we whistle to attract his attention. Yeah, you get over here. Yeah, suck that. Fucking douchebags. So where's that guy then? Where's Dad Bomber Clark? Can we sneak attack in uh, on this guy? Get in the fucking bush. Fuck's sake. Yo, we're sexy. 
Got some pussy in the bush. Get that motherfucker before he knows what's hit him. There are, I do have a couple of um, swords. If I want a, a more powerful weapon. I know I'm using the assassin's pit and blade thing. I'm using it really because you, uh, there are occasions when you can actually take out, um, you know, two people at once, which can be useful sometimes. Let's get this bitch and his mate over here. Hit these motherfuckers head on. How do you fucking know I was going to attack that? You trust me, fucker. Say all of these need the fucking defences breaking. Fuck off. We'll just run off. Fuck it. Hey. Sucking dick. How did he fucking? I'm running. I'm an assassin, bitch. You can't fucking catch me. What's going on? It makes no sense. Kind of run away in Assassin's Creed nowadays. That's fucking. Right. Just get. Let's just go around. Let's just cruise around to the other side of the ship. I'm gonna end part one of this video. This lazy play, as I now call them, video, and uh, resume. Hopefully, with a, a successful attack on this ship and locating this motherfucker I'm after. Alright.